you want me to film you? You're the, you're the cameraman. So Luke just told me I should put this on video. So I was just explaining to him that he could get a bowl of. Would you like to be on? Would you like to be on YouTube? You sure? Anybody else? <laughs> huh? Oh. You want to be on YouTube? <laughs> She's totally. I don't think. I don't. So if you so. get a bowl of really good hot chili and you take a bite, it does something to the inside of your mouth. It heats everything up so that you're kind of smoky. You like smokes coming out of your ear. And then you take a pickle, a cold pickle, which is has a completely different flavor. And you put that in there and take a bite of that. It's like a, it's like an explosion in your mouth of opposing flavors. It's like something happens in there that's hard to deal with. That's why I do it. Yeah. A little hot chili, a little hot chili in there. Mmm, that's good too. Mm. And then. Mmm. Awesome. That's what I like. <coughs> this movie was brought to you by Cool Hand Luke Palioka, the famous artist. Go ahead, take me on. <laughs> well, <laughs> there you have it. It's uh, Mr. Peak's cooking show. When I was four, I mean really four, I was a truck driver and I'd go to a truck stop over in Tuscaloosa, Alabama and there was a waitress in there named Lorraine who was about 78 years old. Of course, I was <clears throat> just barely old enough to have a license. And I didn't have any money, but for like a buck or a buck and a half, I could get a bowl of chili and I'd get all the pickles I want because they were free, so I'd, I'd get a bowl of chili and a plate full of pickles, and that was my dinner every night for about four or five years because I used to have a route where I'd drop and swap over in Tuscaloosa, Alabama at the 76 Tuck Stop. You must have had some antacid issues, didn't you? Eat chili oh, no, no, I no. like it. I like it. In fact, if, I, if anything is ever wrong with me, I just haven't been eating enough chili. Ah, or all hot right. chili because the hotter it is, the better it is for you. Yeah. Because it cooks out all the evil. Down? Yeah. yeah. It just bakes it right out of it. You got some evil in there? Well, not anymore. I've eaten a lot of chili, but I'm, you know, just in case any pops up, and occasionally it does, you know, you have to, you have to put more chili in to tamp it down. Ah. Yeah. Keep things from getting out of hand. That's what's wrong with the world, you know. If the world, if everyone in the world ate more chili, I can think of a few politicians who could stand to be stuffed full of chili. So. And pickles. Okay, so to fix this political mess, everybody should have chili. And very hot chili. Yes, very hot chili. Mm. And if your children are being brats, they should more chili. have chili too. More chili. Every, more it'll, chili. it'll fix everything. And, and it, can, uh, it can cure you of depression. Okay. And it can make the lame walk and the blind see. Wow. Well, you have to have Jesus to like, help with sure. that. But. Wow, this is turning into a cooking show and sermon, and you get a little bit of everything all in one. Well, I didn't actually cook that. That lovely young lady over there cooked it, but she doesn't want to be on YouTube. So yeah. Can't show. See, I was going to show the whole restaurant and let them introduce themselves and talk about how <laughs> wonderful it is to work here, but they didn't want to be on the video. So. Well, well, we'll give them honorable mention. Okay. Honorable mention okay. for the lady. All right. Come on. Hmm. How does that... You want me to turn it off? Mm. You done? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Thanks for watching. <laughs> that was good. You like that? Yeah, that was good. I, I we like just that. made that up, see? Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Out of the blue. My wallet out. But I've got the take I've got the thing in my pocket. Uh, yeah. Here, you, if I'm doing the talking, you have to put the camera. Okay. But see, I've got the thing. I've got the thing right here. You, YouTubers. Mr. Peak is being difficult. So when you say I've got it, you don't have it because I've got it. In my what's it? What's it? Yeah. yeah. How are you going to argue with it? Yeah, I'll take it back because it's your turn to talk. I, 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 I don't know how to argue with that, but okay. I am. Um, so I, I win, right? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, no? I. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's my turn. <laughs> you go right here. I. Well, I have the money. That's how I'm gonna argue with that. You have a piece of paper, but I got money. Hmm. 
so how are you going to argue with that? It's hard to argue with. Yeah? Give me that. Yeah, you win. Plus, this is you came to my chair, so I think. Okay. So when you come to my house, I'll treat. Alright. Alright. Deal. All right. Shake on it. Alright. <laughs> you should have started the camera a little later because there's this place just before we get to your house where you're going down this road and you look out ahead and there's this massive big old mountain and there's pretty much not much of anything else. Maybe a big yeah. field and you know, it's talking all about you and how you live out here at the foot of the mountain and you have to, you know, you're the great orange. It's just rude when your camera quits while you're trying to say something that's very important. This is the garage driveway coming up right here. Is that the garage over there? Yeah. I like the gambrel roof. I'm kind of a fan of it. Oh. Just, oh, I see. It's my thing. I see. I kind of like it. Oh, I did look at that place, but I didn't realize that that was uh, the place. The. Or one of the places. Yeah. The place. You got a couple of pretty little churches down here that are kind of like there's one and there's another one. It made me wonder if the, one was the new church and one was the old church or yeah. something like that. I think that's in the town of Newbury. Newry. Is it Newry or Newry? Well, I think it's supposed to be Newry. Uh, my dad pronounces it Nuri. Nuri. Like N U R R Y. Nuri. But uh, yeah, there's all kinds of different. Some people pronounce it Newry, and it's, it, you can you can go all different directions with it. It's a pretty good country road here. Yeah. You know, down in Georgia. It's, things are kind of flat. I was thinking about the difference between here and Georgia when I was after we came back last time, and I was thinking, yeah, things are hilly. It's very hilly here. Yeah, and you probably don't have frost heaves in Georgia. Frost heaves? No, not not really. Not frost heaves. Frost heaves aren't very. We have red mud. It gets very sticky. Yeah, and soft, and you can sink down in it <clears throat> quite a ways sometimes. And then you have trouble getting back out. Well, you might lose a boot. Yeah. Yeah. You ever get a car stuck in it? Oh yes, I got the RV stuck in it. Oh boy. First time we, first time we took it down there. Well. Yeah. Neighbor had to come pull me out with a tractor, and he almost wrecked us in the process. Oh yeah. That was an adventure. Oh yeah. There you go. That's a good view. Yeah. Yeah. Well, your mountains on this side of the road, right? Yeah. You see the mountain up on top of the trees there. You can't quite see it for the fog, but uh, there's a lot of mountains. Oh yeah. You got a lot of mountains. Look at the look at the fog coming up off the trees over there. That's kind of pretty. Yeah. Well, you know why that is? That's because there's the river right there. That's the river. That's yeah. where the river is. Yeah. So, the, okay. so I'm not very far from those churches I was talking about. Well, there's one church here, and there's I guess there's another one way up. A lot further up that way. Uh -huh. That's the branch road church. Hmm. There's a land for sale there. Now, is that your dad's place down there? Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, there is one piece down there for sale. That's the... What was that on the right side that had a little building out front? Oh, that's a development. That's a, that's a housing development up on the hill there. They sold any houses? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, what it is is they're selling lots. People build their own houses. Oh, I see. Yeah. Are those whooping pies back here any good? Yeah. Mm. Mm. This is uh, the long journey to, to the cave, right? To the Oracle. Yes. Yeah. We were, me and Rusty and... and me and Rusty were talking, we were chitter chattering this morning on, on Facebook and somehow it, the statement was made that me, that you and that me and him and and Cutworm are special. Oh yeah. And I said, well, we need us a special bus. And he said, Luke. Yeah. <laughs> I said, that's right, Luke's got a special bus. A short bus? A short a special yeah. bus. Yeah. For the special YouTubers. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Hey, we're close now. See, this truck was out here this morning. I yeah. figured he must be hunting. Yeah. And we got the other truck. Do you ever hike that trail there? 
I usually hike my own trails. I that's the that's the kind of public it goes all the way up. Yeah. Are you a hiker? No, my wife is though. Yeah. She's a hiker. Yeah, that church you're talking about is coming up. So this is kind of pretty church. I thought I'd be maybe I'll turn off the windshield wipers so they won't be making that scraping noise when we go by. Yeah. Of course then the windshield gets all wet and you can't see. Yeah, this little church here. But there's one right here. And then there's looks like another one. Oh, right that? there. Is that a church? That actually used to be a schoolhouse. That's pretty cool. That's what that was. My dad actually went to school there. Did he? He did. Then there's the the river over here. Yeah. It used to be a hotel right there back in the day. That that trailer? Yeah. Really? That, there used to be a big big house there. Really? Yeah. Huh. I actually have a picture of it at home with all with uh, like a Model T in front of it. Really? Yeah. And this used to be a dirt road. You know, this wasn't always oh. paved. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh. Pretty special. <laughs> yeah. See how I worked that in there? Uh, I did. Pretty special. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, maybe this is the place with the big mountain. We're yeah, coming up on right your, around the bend. Kind of coming up on your place. See the rivers, right? The little, you know, you go up to Cherokee, North Carolina. It's like that. You got that little river running across, along the edge of the mountains, and yeah. up in here, most people will never see all this up in here because they have to, they have to take the great journey to get up here. Yeah. Whereas there's only about a hundred million people that's been to Cherokee, North Carolina, but there's not very many people that's been up here. Yeah. Yeah. This is. This is, the, this is the place with the big mountains since you're coming up on Luke's place. You own one of them mountains, don't you? You and your dad? No, not not there, just over here. Well, he this, owns a mountain somewhere. He owns one yeah. of these mountains, huh? Right here. Is that your dad's mountain? Yeah. That's your mountain, then. Yeah. 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 You That's own, my mountain. You own a mountain. That's Luke's house right there. Let me get a picture of one Luke's of, house. Yeah, my, my fallen down house. That's Luke's house, the fallen down house. Okay, I need to start looking for the driveway. I'm gonna cut this off. Thank y'all for watching. Don't call the cops on us, okay? I won't get stuck back there, will I? No. So, this is you. You tell the story because oh. not everybody's seen the video uh, uh, of Lead Belly. Yeah. Yeah, this is Lead Belly. So he's he's lived with us for I want to say a little bit over 20 years, maybe 22 years. My dad hauled him home. Uh, when I was, uh, I was like seven, I think, he paid a dollar for him from one of the neighbors. And, uh, he's, I, I think, you know, now that I've got the bus and I want to fix that up, Lead Belly's kind of taking a back burner, but I think someday maybe I'd like to, uh, maybe clear coat him and put a, maybe get him drivable, at least as a farm truck. That's a beautiful truck. It, it really is. One of my favorite 40s style trucks, yeah. So what else is back here? Well, that's a 73 Ford there. Yeah. Over here, and this is a 63 Ford. Yeah. Oh. You gotta point the camera at it if you want people to see it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like yeah. That way? Yeah. And just, uh... Oh, wait, you gotta get the track right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's an old, that's an old farm all there. Uh, an F12, I believe. Huh. I think 1935, maybe. Huh. She's a beauty. Yeah. This I is... might not should go back in here because it looks like a place where I can bottom out right there. Maybe. I was going to go down there and look at the. Army we could truck. walk down. No? no? Yeah. Next time. Yeah. I pointed the camera at the old 6340. That's good enough. There's another video out there of the Army truck. They can go look at that. Yeah. Oop, yeah, on. yeah, you might have to back up. <laughs> Beep. I'm run over something, I don't want to run over. Which wouldn't be bad for my reputation. If all the YouTubers saw me running over stuff. Yeah, well. Say, what kind of driver is he? He can't even drive. Let's, let's make a video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's see how it is. Let's see how y'all are. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What? You're laughing at. I am laughing at the entertaining commentary. Oh yeah, entertaining commentary. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. You could get pretty Jeep back here too. I'm surprised you ain't put that on this flashy red Jeep. I need help fixing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
It has overheating issues. Oh, I hate overheating issues. Yeah. yeah. She's got a hot temper. She gets kind of hot. I had an ex-wife like that once. Yeah. Like... I don't recommend it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I did the same thing with her you did with the Jeep. Yeah. Put her out in the field. Put her out in the field, yeah. <laughs> That's bad, ain't it? That's real bad. I shouldn't talk that way. That's all right. Yeah. You put a, a a funny spin on it. You didn't say anything nasty about her. You just said that she got angry, so you left. That's pretty much sums up. Yeah, my and, relationship. Uh, and I think that's okay. Yeah. Okay, I think we're done now. What do you think? I think we're done. You ready to call it a day? Go in and take care of the dogs, and I'll go ahead and go home and take care of my dogs. And... You sure, you want to go home already? It's not really that early. It's it's going on two o'clock. It's two hours and fifteen minutes to get home. That means I won't be home till four. It's supposed to freeze tonight and it's raining. Yeah. If I and considering usually we start we start putting the landing gear down to go to bed about four, and by eight o'clock we're snoozing. In bed. That's yeah. the kind of people we are. When we take a few hours to get there, you know, because we're old married couple, we sit around. Gaze into each other's eyes and hold each other's hand while the sun goes down. Make out. But on top of that, yeah. On yeah. top of that, <laughs> it's raining, it's going to be freezing, and I might slip off the road on the way home and die in a fiery crash. Yeah, you don't want to be like that. you know. Like that? Yeah, yeah like you did. Yeah, you don't want That's what do you that. did. Yeah, you don't want to do you'd that. Have left, if you'd have left earlier... <laughs> yeah. Or if <laughs> I Before I had it started freezing. Or if I had just left not at all. I could have just not mm. left at all. Mm. I could have just waited till the next day when mm. the road was clearer. You just never know. You, no, you don't. You gotta, you just gotta do the best you can while you can, because it could be all over in the blink of an eye. Yeah. Just like that. Seriously though, I think the only body panel on that that <laughs> might need a little work is that passenger fender there. That's an easy fix. Yeah. The bent frame is more troublesome. Yeah, that's, we're gonna but do that first. nobody really can see the frame. Right. So I mean, you could drive around with a bent frame and who knows? Yeah. You know, maybe... Which is probably what I would do. If I, if I was sitting in the driver's seat, maybe the bent... Since I'm a little bit crooked, if the frame is bent, maybe that straightens me out a little. Maybe I would look a little more normal-ish. Kind of. You need normal -ish. You're normal-ish enough as you are. You don't need enough change. I don't think so. You need to do anything more normal-ish. Do you think I normal? Look? Normal is way overrated. Let me tell you. I've known some normal people, and they're boring. Well, if you think that I'm normal-ish, then what does that make you? <laughs> if I'm normal, that's my point exactly. Yeah, it is. That's my point exactly. Yeah. I was gonna tell you about the National Association of Redneck. Rat rod rehabilitation butchers, or something. There was something that we came up with this morning, me and Rusty. I might have to pull it. Maybe I can pull it up on my phone because there's rat. something that we established. We established. Rat rod butchers? No, it's. it's uh, let me see if I can find it because I got to find which. Uh, might be. I don't think it's in that one. Oh, it's, in, it's in the other one. It's in the. Uh, it's in this one. Let's see if I can find the name of it. It's the. Uh, so, let's go, da, 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 super glue, exhaust fumes, don't tell everybody. <laughs> super glue and exhaust uh, nephew fumes. Nephew in law, special forces, uh, secret agent, uh, 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 here it is. Uh, we started the National Association of Redneck Rat Rod Builders association association shouldn't be in there twice and I was pretty sure the word butcher was in there somewhere let me just uh, say that again the National Association of Redneck Rat Rod Butchers that's it there it is butchers. Uh, okay you see I read the association the National Association of Redneck Rat Rod so it has three, butchers it has three R's because I was talking about the the very rigid standards that you have to follow if you're going to uh, Butcher or rat rod. Mm. Mm. I can tell I have your undivided attention. You do? I think you would sleep on me just then. No. No? No, no, no. Okay. So. I caught that. I was, in, I was fully engrossed in that conversation. Well, what I'm saying is that you, you, you can be, you can be one of the honorary charter members because you've got the bus. 
I would like that. Yeah, and we need a bus for us because we're all special and you've got a special bus, so. All right, I'll have the special bus for special. So, so far the members are me and you, me and you and Rusty and Cutworm. Okay. Rusty Acres have you, and Cutworm fits in there. Have you, uh, and your ledge sled. Yes. Have you notified Cutworm of this? Well, it's in, it's in, see what we do, and maybe we should get you in on this, but we do a, we do a three-way Facebook conversation every day. Oh. Every morning. But we could put you in there, it'd be a four-way Facebook conversation, and then you could, you could catch up with all the blither blather that we talked about. Yeah, that'd be fun. All the chitter chatter and the blither blather. Blither blather. Blither blather. Say that. Blither blather. Blither blather. Say that 15 times fast. Blither blather. That would be easy. <laughs> Blood there, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like that, just like that, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I've never actually talked to Steve. To who? Steve. Uh, you, you Steve never talked? Why? I, I did. He thinks you're the awesomest thing since. I tried to add him on Facebook and he didn't add me. What? I. Oh, I like him. I have no problem with him. too, though. I haven't had a. I, I haven't had a problem with him, I just have haven't. You, have you actually found him on Facebook? I did, Stevie Ray Rains, right? Well, there's that, but then there's uh, Cutworm. Cutworm, he's, in the, he's on there as Cutworm also. See, he's oh. like a secret agent. He's in charge of the defense of the club. He's, because uh, I'm going to be president, and, uh, and uh, that means I get to drive the presidential limousine, and then uh, Rusty's going to be the vice president because he's, in charge of vice, you know, he's a vice. He's he's kind of a vice kind of guy. And then Cutworm's going to be in charge of defense because he's got more guns than any of us. And you're <laughs> going to be the special bus captain, okay? Driver, owner, mechanic, the Greyhound bus guy. You're the Greyhound bus guy. Yeah. 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 You know, one thing that I was going to try to scare up for that bus. I don't know if I can or not, but I was going to try to find some dogs for it. I don't know. Some if, greyhound dogs? Yeah. I'm sure there's people out there that have greyhound dogs. The the ones that are from that era though are super expensive. I bet you, I bet you, and I'm just gonna put this out there, I bet you that there's a there's a YouTube person out there right now listening to this saying, I've got a greyhound dog. Yeah. Yeah. And I want four thousand dollars for it, bro. No, 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 no. We don't do that. We give stuff away. We're, we give stuff, to, us YouTubers give stuff to us other YouTubers. It just occurred to me, we're sitting in a closed car talking and we're probably both catching COVID from each other. Probably. So, if I die from this, I want you to know that it's all your fault, but I forgive you in advance. Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. Wait, 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 let's do this. Let's do this right. And, and I need my special hat. Uh, is, it, is it in the back? Hold on a second. Oh, this yeah. Is be, this is going to be good. Does it go this way or that way? That goes on the outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Oh, right. I should put I mine get, on. I got to get my hat. I got a special hat. It's kind of like Amos and Andy, only funnier. Yeah. <laughs> and we're, 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 we're famous here. You got anything else you want to say? Um, it's been a great time, and if I caught COVID from sitting here with you chatting, then that's just fine. I can't okay. think of a better way to go. So. I like it. We we'll just put yeah. the windows down. We'll go get some fresh air. That's a good idea. Oh, it's raining out there. It is raining out there, and there's the dogs coming over to say hi. He wants to jump in the window. I'm putting the one back up. I don't think he would jump in the window. He might jump up on the side of the car, but that would not be. I wouldn't. I, I'm not a fan of dog marching, so. Yeah. <sighs> I don't blame you. Okay. I'll go take care of him. Well, it's been fun. Let's see. Oh. There we go. That's better. That's very special. Glad special. You did that. <laughs> yeah. Did that get caught, too? It's all on the, it's the camera. All right. It's all, it's all. Okay. I'm taking this thing off. Yeah, me too. Oh, I think I pulled my hearing aids out on top of it. Oh, it, uh, see, this is what happens when you wear hearing aids and try to take your mask off, and they all get tangled together. And oh, that's hearing bad. aids are a great thing, aren't they? Because then, well, you know, if you get in a fight with somebody, you don't want to listen no, to them I anymore. I don't really need hearing aids. It's just that I hear better. It makes them. it better. 
But see, how great would that be, though? What? If you completely lose your hearing and you have hearing aids, you can like pretend that you're listening. Yeah, you I, can I do that anymore. Yeah, you can turn I'm already, off. I'm already doing that. Yeah. I do that all the time. All right. Well, this was very fun. It's amazing the things that me and my wife don't hear each other say. That, yeah. that I mean, it helps the relationship <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Bad eyesight is helpful too. Yeah. Yeah. She gets prettier. The older I get, the prettier she gets. There you go. I think it has something to do with both our eyesight. So I'm pretty sure if she could see really well, she'd probably trade me in for a fresh guy. Think so. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. She might keep me for my money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe. All right. I'm leaving now. Don't forget your mask. I will. I will. Thank you. This was very fun. Yeah. Is there anything else we need to say? I hope that we can get together maybe at least one more time before you leave. Maybe. Mm. Maybe, 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 maybe not. We'll think about we'll, it. We'll see. You come to my house. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You come to my house anytime you want. You come and stay. Yeah. Move in. Yeah, maybe I will. Hmm. Yeah, move in. Yeah, I'll move in. Okay. All right. I'll tell Honey Babe buy more groceries. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll do a rent to own on the Chrysler or something, and then I can sleep in the trunk. Actually, that's like a four bedroom house. <laughs> that trunk. Yeah. yeah. It's big. It's huge. Yeah. Yeah. I'm letting the COVID germs out. All right. All right. All right. I think we're done now. Yeah, I think so. Been a, been a pleasure. It has. Bye, YouTubers. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget your crutches. I won't. Or your sticks. What do you call them? Your sticks? Uh, I call them crutches. Uh, crutches. Sticks. sticks. It's my extra legs. Yeah. It's nice to have some extra help. Yeah. Hi, guys. I want to get inside. Bye, dog. Hey, bye. That's my hat. Yeah. yeah. Okay then. Alright. Alright. Thank you for stopping by. See you later. See ya. Okay, that was fun. Now, let's go home.